hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use Facebook Profit, one of the most powerful forecasting models out there. If you are interested in learning more about Facebook Profit or other forecasting models, I have a course on Udemy to which I'll leave a link in the description. And to kick this off, we need to get some data. And to start it off, I would ask you to go to your favorite browser. And then over here, please write with me. So tiny URL and then dot com slash and then FB profit. And here we go. Let's do control enter. And you'll see here, this will be our data set. And then here, let's do right click and then save as. And you'll see here that it is a comma separated file. And then please store it in the desktop and simplify it. Call it DF and let's do enter. And then we go back to R. What I want to do now is that I want to set a working directory. So session set working directory, choose directory. I saved mine in the desktop. So that's where I need to go. So you see files and you see here my DF. And what I need to do is very simply read dot CSV. And then in my parentheses, I open quotation marks and then I just do DF dot CSV. I do control enter and let's also have a look. And in fact, I forgot to do something. So DF equals so that we store our data somewhere. And now yes, control enter. Let's have a look. And just a couple of remarks. You do need to call your data set DF or data frame. And then you need to have at least two columns, one called the S for data stamp and then the Y for dependent variables. Then the last thing, which is also crucial in order to apply Facebook profit is that your data stamp, your column data needs to be in this format. So year, iPhone, month, iPhone, day. And this is it. If you have this just like this, you work it more than fine. And let's go back. And what I want to do now is to do my profit and how to do this. We get our library profit and let's do control enter and I'll create a model called M and then M equals and then I just do profit. Then inside I include my DF. Let's do control enter. There is an kind of error over here. It's just a warning. Don't worry about it. And it is actually already done. So what we can do now is to forecast something. So forecasting and we need to create a particular data frame. So we call it future and then we do make future data frame and then we include our model that we have just created and then we need to have an horizon. So periods equal to and then we just do 100. Let's do control enter. And then now, yes, we do our forecast equals to we use predict and then inside we include our M, which is our model, and then the future data frame that we have just created again, control enter. And then the last step is to do some plotting and that's to plot and then we do our M and then we use the forecast that we have just created. Let's do control enter and it will appear in our plots and let me zoom in. And what you see here is that the black dot, this is the values that actually happen. And then the blue line is our modeling. I would ask you, how do you think it worked out? I would say that on average, you know, it looks fine. There are here several edge cases that are not particularly explained by our model. But I think all in all, this is a curve that can potentially make sense. As a result, we are actually done with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, have fun.